Don't worry if you're still in line to go to But, um, we're not going to close the table. There are sinkholes that are, are, are appearing in the 
long year. And that's because with a lot of these major storm events that have happened in the recent years, the retaining wall is pulling away from the land and pulling the drain pipe with it, because it's the drain pipe is inserted in there. And so it is um, has pulled apart in key parts, causing the sinkholes. So that that is what we are, those are the three projects that we were planning to repair. Those are the street, uh, the drain pipe at the lower mill. They all have sort of compliance implications associated with them or other kinds of uh, difficulties if you don't address them immediately. Uh, one is, they're all related to our uh, pushing stormwater into the Salmon Falls River, which according to our MSD plan, we are supposed to uh, avoid doing as much as possible. Willow Street and Pine Street have either water and or sewer in the pipes associated with them. So that's why as the road, as the culverts are collapsing with the old corrugated metal culverts, and as they are uh, you know, being compressed, collapsing, the road above it starts to do the same thing. And if there are water pipes and uh, sewer, then, then we're applying pressure to those. It could be just water, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not entirely sure. So that's the nature of this particular warrant article. We're asking for uh, $435,000. We would likely only need to borrow 385 of that. This has the unanimous recommendation of the Select Board Grand Thank you, Mr. 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 Thank Bonding in general. Bonding in general means you are committing yourself to paying back a debt over a period of time. And it takes a superior position than everything else in the town's expenditures. So if it came down to it, you were in a crunch, and it was pay the bond or plow the roads, it's pay the bond. So we need to be very clear about that. It's like credit card. You borrow money, you've got to pay it first. You can't just forget about it. Now, the other part of this is the culverts. Theoretically, we could get a better rate if we did all three at once, but we don't know that. And it could be possible for us to do three culverts over a period of time from our SIP plan. So it isn't necessarily guaranteed that this is the perfect answer to our problem. In addition, there may be other things that are going to come up in the future, police station, <laughs> that are going to require bonding. So this is not the end of bonding. You need to be aware of that. So we need to prioritize and understand. We can't necessarily think that this is it and it's done. Other things may come up. So just remember, when you borrow money, you got to pay it first. For debate on Article 6, So you like pulled 426 Washington Street. I understand bonding is something that the town doesn't want to do necessarily, but it may be an only option. If you, as me personally, do I want to go to the grocery store and buy food or pay my electric bill? Sometimes I have to do both and the groceries have to go on my credit card. So the town has lots of obligations. The emergency, the culverts are one of them. I don't want to be coming back here on another Saturday for an emergency meeting because the town's culverts have failed and there's a sinkhole and they don't have the money to pay for it and we need to elect to give them the money as a legislative body. I think it's also a safety concern. How many of us drive down to the library or down to the lower mill and heaven forbid we should get a storm and a sinkhole opens? You can't walk your family across that. Heaven forbid your car should be parked where the St. Paul opens up. Then the town becomes more liable. Um, and it's a, to put these things off increases the cost and the time and the burden on the town and its employees. So I would like you to consider that when you're voting. We can do it now and get it three jobs done at once. So when they finish one job, we can move right on to the other. We can bid it out one job at a time. So if they finish early, we don't have to pay them as well. 
as much put into that bottle here. We may have to pay them more because they go over budget on the next project. So those are things that I think everybody should think about. Um, I was wondering if the select board has done a survey of the drainage system in town and if any of the other cohorts or drainage system in town is failing at this time. So I'll treat that as a question to the moderator, to the select board. Have they done a survey of the culprit needs in town? Well, with regard to, to drainage, uh, we did hire a consultant uh, in 2016 to do a, a, an assessment of our uh, drain, drainage system associated with our responsibilities with our MS4 permit um, on managing stormwater. And that is when we discovered the drain pipe at the lower mill. So we have, uh, we see no other uh, extraordinary problems with the drainage system. We will have to have uh, mechanisms to clean them out every year. We do clean them out every year. We may be replacing some of them, but we're not talking about tens of thousands of dollars to do that. Uh, with regard to culverts, uh, there are two culverts on Sligo Road that we continue to look at. One is um, the one that we have uh, now made into a one way road, and the one is a sort of a double culvert, and we're also looking at that. We are, neither of these are emergencies uh, that we're aware of. We're able to plan those out. We feel that we'll be able to manage them via, excuse me, via the CIP, or via special warrants. Um, I think I've answered the questions. Can I, can I respond to the police station? Is that possible? Because it just got brought up. What do you think? Um, no one's okay. No, it's okay. No. <laughs> Sorry to ask for permission, but I, I do want to try to stay germane to culverts, uh, and I understand that people want to illustrate their arguments, but I don't want to go down the path of debating future issues. Can I, can I just add one, one thing that is relevant? I, I just want to remind everybody that both the select board members and the budget committee members, these were unanimous votes to recommend this more honorable. Thank you. <coughs> I'm sitting on uh, 50 Water Street. Uh, there is two columns on Pine Street. Uh, there's a drain pipe out of one column that runs down to a Muse driveway, which probably has been collapsed now for two years. And are uh, we going to do anything about this? Or is this just another project for them? Thank you. I treat that as a question through um, the moderator about a second culvert on Pine Street. Is he would you want to respond? Yeah, now, as far as I know, um, that particular culvert has not come to our attention, um, at least not recently. So, again, we will take a look at that and we can certainly, again, manage this through the CIP or through a special warrant article should, uh, should something happen. No, Mr. Senior. No, I just want to question that because uh, your own agent knows about it. Your engineering department knows about it. All right, any further debate on Article 6? We're about to close debate on Article 6, but want to do a quick housekeeping thing. If anybody uh, has mobility challenges uh, and walking up to the microphone is difficult, uh, just let me know on the next recess. We do have a limited reach on the, on the wired mic, uh, and if somebody wants to be able to speak to uh, bills or uh, warrant articles uh, and can relocate to the front of the room, I think we can accommodate that. So debate on Article 6 is closed. I see a hand in the back. Do you want to speak to Article 6? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Brian Hoeren. I just wanted to clarify one part of this article, the uh, storm drain problem over by the lower mill. I, that, if that isn't addressed, that is going to impact the usability of Lower Mill Road, which means that vehicles going to the wastewater treatment plant won't be able to get there. So that's certainly something which has the potential to be a serious problem for the town. Thank you. 
for the debate on Article 6. Uh, specific to Article 6. Um, if it's an issue of funding, one of the things at the time we want to look at, oh, sorry, Mr. Button, Jim Jagger, uh, Boys Extension Road, If it's specific to funding, one of the things the town may look at is lending itself the money. I mean, you've got a checkbook balance of a little over $3 million in one kind of loan. I know we've had some other fund balances. Uh, to respond to Mr. Crozier's comments, one of the things you could do is fund it and pay it back. The second comment I'd like to say is that make is that you really need to focus on a capital reserve fund for things like this. You know, I look at I look at the proposed budget and we're really not doing a set aside to deal with this. If the town did an annualized set aside of hundred thousand dollars and had been doing it for the last five years or ten years, when the fire truck issue comes up or when an issue like these culverts come up, you can sit there and pick them off one at a time. And it's a long term investment for the town and the pain is far less than bonding out um, for jobs for work like this. To speak in favor of the bond, the only thing I can tell you is you're probably not going to borrow it much cheaper than what you're going to borrow it now. I mean, if you'd done it a year ago, it probably would have been a percent and a half less, but you're still, your numbers are going to be pretty low. But either way, on a moving forward basis for projects like these columns, we really have to take a long, hard look at doing set-asides on an annualized basis. We have to have the courage to do that and we'll save the time on any one. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Um, Mr. Rollick, do you want to respond? Thank you for the comments. This select board actually is funding a capital improvement plan, uh, which will be coming up in another Warren article, at what we believe is uh, an appropriate level. So we take your, your comments to heart because it's something that should have been happening a long time ago. So we are trying to do exactly what you're saying. So thank you for that. If you want to be Democracy is like my father's 1957 Chevy pickup. It's not pretty to look at, but it works. Um, so I don't want to be quick to close debate. But I do call um, the debate on Article 6 is closed. We're now going to vote on Article 6. A yes vote is in favor of raising and appropriating uh, uh, sum of money to repair culverts subject to other conditions stated in the warrant article. A no vote means uh, that, that you would not want the town to take that action. Please line up again with your voting card and your identification at this uh, supervisor's table and we will be in recess. Uh,